Let me share my perspective on an article that I read in CDNet, uh, CDNet News uh, about the hacking on the Marriott system. Uh, and that's the only source of information that I'm going to use for, uh, for this uh, short video. So the data from the reservation system was extracted and what allowed the company to detect such a thing was the fact that they were using Guardium for protecting that reservation system. So in case that you have not seen my videos on how Guardian works, basically it is something that is on the wire. I mean, it's not intercepting the, the transactions per se. It's just listening to what's goes on the wire and looks like all the, you know, SQL, you know, coming not only from the reservation system, from for anything else that is really coming, looking for data. And this can be set up to say, well, the number of records that somebody can access a day, uh, the time of day, uh, the type of commands, multi multitude of things you can actually put in Guardian policies to, to be enforced. And then when one of those policies gets violated, a message is sent to the SIM. It's called an alert in Guardian. Or it's also, you know, you can actually watch that from the actual console of the product, right? which apparently is what happened in this uh, particular case. Uh, but also, Guardian can be set up to block some of those uh, transactions. So most people use it first with monitoring in, in terms of alert, but rest assured that it can also do blocking when you are sure that the stuff that is doing is bad. So, and you'll see why I in my videos, I call Guardian the last line of defense for the data, right? If everything gets compromised, as it was in this case, uh, Guardian is your last point of detecting the, for detecting these things. So the business partner that was, you know, helping the company to run the reservation system from a company that they acquired years ago, uh, in this malware was there already even before the acquisition. That's how how long they linger in it. Uh, they the business partner detected one of those alerts from Guardian saying somebody issue a SQL command asking for the number of rows in a table. Well, one of the things that Guardian does is that well the reservation system is not gonna do that. So some admin actually did that, and that's what, what triggered the alarm. So a DB admin, when they look at the, at the actual transaction and, and Guardian provides all those details, they say, well, it is a DB admin's credentials that were used to execute that command. It's actually it's a privilege command. Well, they confronted the DB admin and they trust the fact that he did not do that uh, issue did not issue that command so whenever you have that thing happening in a company you suspect that the credential has been stolen and the number one suspect in it is a technique called mimicat okay if you have not seen that in action in the video description you'll see a link to a video that shows you i'm going to give you a short preview of it so this is the video, Detecting Sophisticated and Obfuscated Attacks on Fully uh, Patched Machines. Uh, this actually shows Mimikatz in action. You can actually see it uh, there. And you'll see, you'll be surprised how easy it is to compromise credentials. All we needed is uh, that administrator to actually click on a particular link. It can be... Uh, opening a spreadsheet, a Word document, clicking on a link, or, or the multiple uh, vectors for that attack, but that's all it's required. And with Mimikatz, you can uh, get all the password. Uh, so, so that's what they, when, when they look, got a, a team of experts to look at what actually happened, they were looking for Mimikatz because they, 
they believe that the DB admin did not do it, so therefore the credentials uh, were compromised. So they manually went to month of logs looking for traces of Mimikat. Well, in that video that I just mentioned before, we show a technique, actually it's agentless, called Sysmon, it's something actually created by Microsoft and IBM did put the, the rules in Curator to detect mimicats and lateral movement and privilege escalation and process hollowing and event viewer hijacking. I mean, all sort of multitude of techniques that the bad guys use um, for, for this type of attack. So if you deploy the, the Sysmon technology along with Curator, you can detect when these things actually happen not on the last line of defense, but actually at the very beginning when the initial, you know, uh, clicking on the wrong thing happens and the bad guys uses some of those uh, techniques and tactics, then uh, you can watch actually, watch the video and you'll see how your curator system can trigger early on when these attacks happen and prevents, you know, then for compromising your record and also what worries me the most is that they remain hidden for such a long time and we can actually I'm a firm advocate of the Sysmon technology again on we, we show those attacks on fully patched machines this is not exploiting vulnerability this is actually abusing uh, some Microsoft features and that's what they created uh, that's uh, Sysmon detection which in the Windows logs actually packs the Windows logs with tremendous amount of details that tells everything that is happening inside the kernel and that's what allows uh, technologies like Curator to detect all these uh, type of attacks.